Hey guys, welcome to the new series. So I'm building a project and I'm slowly uh, developing it. The first map is in a fairly stable state. I don't see it changing much after this, uh, but I will be doing videos on each of these sections. Uh, some of these sections I might squeeze into one, but I'm going to try to keep each of these videos short covering uh, each of these displays. I will be adding more levels later on, like a use case level. Uh, I'll be showcasing linked uh, uh, anim layer systems, stuff like that, you know, like how they do in Lyra. Uh, a lot of these displays are showcasing techniques that are used in ALS and describing them in explicit detail. So I, I meticulously went through the trouble of wording this stuff as best as I could to try to uh, uh, ensure that it's as easily understood as possible. These examples that I chose are not specifically meant for game use, game animation use cases. Uh, I will have a separate level that I'll build that'll showcase actual game use game animation system use uh, cases, uh, but these were specifically designed to showcase as best I can uh, these specific, what these specific displays are trying to uh, get across to you. So a lot of this stuff right here has to do with additive animations, but let me just go ahead and uh, go over some of the things that we'll be covering uh, in the first uh, several videos. So we'll be covering mesh space versus local space, additive animations. Uh, I'll go into detail on how you can calculate these. Uh, I have validated this uh, information. So once you learn how to actually calculate manually an additive animation, you'll understand it a lot better. Uh, virtual bones. I explain how virtual bones are used in advanced animation systems like ALS, and I showcase uh, that as well. So managing uh, ad additive-induced offsets and contextual offset adjustment and aiming, I showcase how uh, some additive animations might not show up well when applied to the arms of an aiming an animation and how that same additive will look fine for when they're in the resting state. Precise hand alignment and additives. So I've reworded these displays too to make them more appropriate because I don't want to I don't want y'all guys to get the wrong ideal. Uh, balancing hand coordination and additive animations. This is just showcasing uh, uh, differences and offsets like if you offset it and then uh, dynamic additives uh, those are basically the same thing as setting up additives from the content browser so if i come over here and i uh, actually uh, set up an additive right here i can only choose one space or the other with dynamic additives i can apply the same animation in both local space and mesh space and then, and then play those in different spaces on different layers of the skeleton. Uh, so anyway, I'll go into that uh, right here under dynamic additive layering. This is a technique that they use in ALS. Uh, as you can see here, I do mention ALS here. And yeah, so I hope you guys uh, can appreciate the effort that I'm putting into this project for you guys. It will be available for download if you're interested in keeping up to date with it, because uh, this will change over time uh, and I'll add stuff to it. Then under shared files, you'll see the link here. The link will never change. The file that you download will. Uh, so I'll just uh, use manage version uh, control inside of Google Drive to just replace the actual file without changing the link. Uh, under file update channel, you'll see uh, the updates listed here. And yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you in the next video, which will cover mesh space versus local space.